Hey guys, welcome to another video. Just wanted to make a real, real quick video today. Um, a few of you guys have asked me what kind of fish finder I'm using because you guys have seen this metal bar sticking out of my pole when I'm ice fishing. Anyways, I'm, I'm out right now ice fishing the Red River here in Manitoba and uh, we're catching some fish. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I've already posted it last week so you can see it in the comment box or the comment card right up here and I'm also going to post a link to that video in the uh, description down below it's a catch and cook video so stay tuned watch that video I show you guys how I make a Chinese dish Chinese steamed fish really great dish my wife absolutely loves it hope you guys can try that recipe out for yourself and see how you like it anyways on to the video I'll show you guys what kind of fish finder I'm using right now have an ice flasher because I'm a budget fisherman guys I don't have 500 bucks plus to drop on a, on a proper flasher so I found this it's a Piranha Max Hummingbird Piranha Max 4 okay it already came with a case like this and everything it's a boat it's a boat fish finder so it's for summer use. I'll show you guys the transducer right away and why I have these metal bars sticking out like this from the ice hole. So check this out. Okay. So as you can see, it is a summertime transducer. That is not an ice transducer. But you don't need a dedicated ice transducer to ice fish. I've modded this up so that I can use it for ice fishing and it works it finds fish I can see when they're coming up because it also shows the history of the fish activity on the screen I'll show you guys that in a second but this these metal bars see I've added the bolt here just like that as you guys can see there so I bolt it to the bottom of this bar here and you can see all the different holes along this bar now the reason for these holes is so that I can put the fish finder or the transducer right past where the bottom of the ice of the ice column is right because if I just have it floating up here the uh, the cone or the beam that it projects gets disturbed by the wall of ice so I always set it so that it's past the, the it's past the depth of the ice so it's just sitting on water and then the cone is then free to transmit outwards and I just have this other metal bar sticking out on one of these holes so I can set it so if the ice is only for example six inches thick I'll have this bar set maybe down here to like eight inches right but right now the ice is uh, about 18 inches uh, maybe close to 20 inches thick so that's why I have it set pretty high up like this so now the transducer is sitting a couple of inches below the ice so this is how I've rigged my summertime fish finder transducer to be able to work for me in the winter time and when you guys look on this screen here it shows you everything that you really need to know it shows you the depth of the water it shows you the temperature of the water that's the bottom right there and when you see fish activity it the screen scrolls from right to left so for example here I'll move my I'll move my bait up and down and you guys can see the action of my bait right there going up and down right now when you have fish you'll be able to see the history of the activity of that fish you you can see it coming up from the bottom up to your bait and you'll know when you should expect a bite you can also see them when they're coming downwards like this it'll show a downward line going like this going down to your bait etc 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 so yes you can use a summertime boat transducer and mod it up so that you can use it under the ice you don't need uh, dedicated ice flasher like I picked this thing up second hand on Kijiji for like I think it was a hundred and hundred and eighty or 150 bucks anyway it was under 200 bucks right I didn't want to drop five seven hundred bucks on a on a transducer just to 
when I started ice fishing and uh, I've never even bothered to replace it because it works what's what's the point of of dropping more money just for a dedicated ice flasher when this thing right here works just as well so that is the fish finder I use guys the hummingbird piranha max 4 with a summertime boat transducer and I've just modded it up so that I can use it under the ice the bars are just there to keep it steady and to keep it straight so that it doesn't float around another alternative you can do is you can put a pool noodle um, at different lengths on the wire so you don't have to use the metal bars right so if you put a pool noodle or something that floats on the wire and you can set the depth of that pool noodle or the float right that's another thing that you can do but I like the metal bars there because it makes sure that it keeps the transducer straight so it's not floating around moving like this and the beam is going all over the place right so real quick video that's it that's the uh, fish finder that i use for all you guys that was wondering out there and for anybody that's been wondering if you can use a summertime transducer fish finder um, and use it for ice fishing yes you can that's proof of it that's all guys again i'm out here ice fishing there's uh the fish that i've caught so far today it's a sauger again check out that video down in the description down below i'll put the link down there thanks a lot for watching and i hope you guys have a great day check out some other videos on my channel as well and i hope you enjoy my content if you do please like and subscribe thank you very much and i'll see you in future videos peace